What's happening everybody, this is John from Antmate and today I wanted to show off some of the massive variation we have within the Campanata species that we keep and just give you guys a bit of information about keeping Campanatus ants. Also in this video, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a rundown of what my lazy ass has been up to in the last few weeks and the general direction I'd like to take this channel. So stay tuned to the end and of course if you guys are not in our ant keeping group it's an amazing community with about 350 members now. We get tons of ant keepers from around the world, both experts and novices alike, sharing their colonies from queens to absolutely amazing mega colonies. So I encourage you guys, please join the group, join the conversation. We've got quite a few big YouTubers in it, so please check it out. Links are in the description below. Now let's get back to what all of you rocked up for, Camponatus. Now Camponatus are found all around the world, so everybody knows about them, everyone's got their own version of them, they range from medium sized ants to absolutely massive. In America, Camponatus are commonly known as carpenter ants, and in Australia, some of them have gotten the name sugar ants. I'll be featuring five of our different Campanata species that are native to Australia that we keep right here in Sydney. The Campanata scene behind you is a Campanatus consabrinus or banded sugar ant and they're pretty famous worldwide because they have some of the most amazing colours on their workers and queen and before anyone tells me these aren't colonies because if this is a colony my family's a colony, well Campanatus take a very very long time to develop so this colony is actually about eight months old and we've only got about five workers which means to get the workers from a test tube to a formicarium you're gonna have to wait about a year so before keeping Campanatus ants you got to consider that this is quite a long-term investment and the colony is not going to take off for quite a while but it's well worth the wait. Banded sugar ants are one of the biggest ants you find here in Australia and they're one of the biggest Campanatus we've ever seen. So as you can imagine, the gestation time is quite long and it takes quite a few months to get from an egg to a worker, but it's well worth the wait and it's super exciting every time a new one it closes. The next ant we're gonna look at is the Campanatus nigriceps. And while well, you may think to yourself, isn't this the same ant as the one we just looked at? It looks like it, but it's not. These are black-headed sugar ants. They're a tad bigger than their little sisters, and they're quite a bit more difficult to find in Australia, so they're a bit more sought after. As you can see, they get their name because they absolutely love sugar, and these two girls are going to town on this honey I've given them. So if you're going to keep Campanatus, ensure you've got a solid supply of honey because I have to replace this every two to three days. Now, if you were a normie here in Australia, like most people are, you would not be surprised to know that these ants are actually pests and they're quite destructive and it's quite common to see the damage that they cause to wooden structures by chewing on it and uh, basically wrecking the wood like a termite would, which is why they have the name carpenter ants in Europe and North America. Another cool fact about these ants is that the workers are polymorphic, which means that when they get to about 20 workers in the colony, which is not a lot compared to other species, you'll start seeing majors, or in layman's terms, soldiers which are bigger and heavier versions of the ants and they generally hang around to protect the nest so that's another bonus of keeping them. This medium sized girl is really shiny and really pretty and she's our Campanatus loni and she's been in that test tube for about four months and has only laid one egg which is a bit concerning but they don't do anything in winter. Moving right along, these are our Campanatus Aeneopilosus, I think. 
and they are golden tailed sugar ants and it's a bit difficult to see because their test tubes are really filthy and they are notoriously difficult to move but they do have a golden tail and what makes these campanales special besides the fact that they're a fair bit smaller than the other ones is that they are active both day and night so you can always get a reaction out of them and they're always happy to eat and they're pretty great for house guests. And now on to my absolute favourite campanadas. These campanadas I've actually put into an Ants Australia Hebel Formicarium, which you can buy on their website at antsaustralia.com. These are pretty cool little ants, and part of what makes them so cool is we don't have an ID for them, so we don't actually know what they are. Um, the closest we can get is CF Mark Hens, but they aren't CF Mark Hens, so if you know the ID for these ants, though I suspect there isn't one, please school me in the comments. I love being schooled in the comments. But like all other sugar ants, uh, they spray formic acid and grow frustratingly slowly, so I suspect it's going to be at least a year or two before they fill out this formicarium and I have to upgrade to a bigger size, which is pretty handy. A lot of people have asked me if these are actually yellow crazy ants and I've been accused of keeping yellow crazy ants despite living in Sydney where it's way too cold for yellow crazy ants but if you look carefully you can tell by the ridge on their back that there's no hump in it which is pretty indicative of Campanatus so if you want to know if you've got a Campanatus or not if they've got a smooth ridge on their back just below their head she's a Campo. Sticking with the theme of ants we can't identify, because we're pretty useless, is this queen and her young worker. Originally we thought that she was a nigriceps or a concebrinus by her colouring, but when she arrived and we had a look at the worker, that's obviously not the case. The worker is this weird brown and doesn't have the distinctive golden yellow band that you'd see on the banded sugar ants. Other than that, she's pretty small as far as campos go, and we look forward to getting an ID on her, so stay tuned in the coming months, hopefully we can make a colony out of her, but anything's possible. So that's just a look at all the Campanatus colonies that we keep. Moving on to something a bit different, do you all remember this? This is that vivarium I built about three months ago for that Mega Fidole colony, and by the looks of it, I don't think any of them have made it unfortunately. I did see a worker once and he's under the big plant on the left. From then on I haven't seen any activity in the tank which is really depressing. So a word of caution, if you don't have experience with dirt nests I wouldn't recommend putting a queen straight into the nest without a colony uh, or you're going to be stuck like me waiting and wondering are they dead? Are they alive? What's going on? While I'm going all Grim Reaper and bringing the mood down, do you guys remember that big nilly colony I had way back? That was the first colony of ants I got, and we got to about 200 workers pretty quickly. It was pretty awesome, but they suffered colony collapse overnight, so the whole colony just died. And the queen's still alive, and she's in a test tube, but it looks like she's probably not going to make it. And here's another big nilly colony that we have. Uh, she's got about four workers, so that's pretty exciting. Hopefully I won't kill this one. And other news, I'm moving to Melbourne for, for my business, which is great. So I've quit my day job and I'm doing this full time. Really exciting. Lots of great people in Melbourne, great ant scene. And hopefully we can keep the videos coming every week. I have a lot more ants in Melbourne that I want to show you guys. A lot of really cool species and a lot of really cool colonies. So stay tuned for that. Until next week guys, this is John from Antmate.